extra time in the past has produced some magnificent periods of play as teams get tired and other factors come into play. We'll see what this brings. Well, he could go for goal from here. He took a chance there, really, and I don't think it paid off. Yeah, I think so, and it was a poor tackle, it was badly timed. Goalkeepers love to be busy, and he's certainly busy at the moment. The frame of the goal helping him out. And now at least he can settle his team down and get the ball upfield. Well, if you hit the postal bar, you've not hit the target. Although they did in the second one, it was too easy for the keeper. Read that well with the interception. Well, they use the forward in these positions, dropping deep. He lays it off and they play from there. Well, that's straightforward for the goalkeeper. They could have got through there, but the defender was absolutely on top of his game. Out into the wide areas now. Only two more minutes to be added on by the referee now. Been a really good match, this. And we reached the end of the first half of extra time. go into the second period of extra time. Lizarazzo. It's unlike him, really, to play the ball straight to the opposition. And they've got a man out wide. Referee's pointed for a goal kick. Good reading of the play by the defender. Well, they tried to keep it, but they haven't been able to do that. Opportunity in a wider area. It's a good crosser normally, but that's not a good cross. Goal kick. Counting down for five minutes to go in this extra time second period. Well, we've got three minutes left in the second period of extra time. That's good support play from his teammates. And the defender is able here to control the ball and clear. 
Two minutes of added time. That's what it says on the board. It's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. Well, it's fantastic for the fans. It's pretty nerve-wracking for the penalty takers. Not too bad for the goalkeepers. Here comes the shootout.